Ibrahim Tuare is a Burkina Bay military officer who has been the interim leader of Burkina Faso since the 30th of September 2022 coup d'etat, which ousted interim President Paul Henry Damiba. The age 35, Tuare is currently the second youngest serving state leader in the world and the youngest serving president. Ibrahim Tuare was born in Kera on 14th March 1988. After receiving his primary education in Bondokoi, he attended a high school in Bobo Julasu where he was known as being quiet and very talented. From 2006, Tuare studied geology at the University of Oradugu. He was part of the Association of Muslim Students and Masses Associations. In the latter, he rose to delegate and became known for defending his classmates in this field. Tuare graduated from the university with honors. Tuare joined the Army of Burkina Faso in 2009 and graduated from the George's Namuano Military Academy. He was sent to Morocco for anti-aircraft training before being transferred to an infantry unit in Kenya, a town in Burkina Faso North. Tuare was promoted to Lieutenant in 2014. Tuare joined MINUSMA, a United Nations peacekeeping force involved in the Mali War. In 2018, he was cited as one of the MINUSMA soldiers who shown courage during the major rebel attack in the Tombuctu region. He subsequently returned to Burkina Faso where he assisted in major operations against the escalating jihadist insurgencies. He was promoted to captain in 2020. Tuare later claimed that he became dissolution with his country leadership around this time as he saw the widespread lack of equipment of Burkina Bay soldiers whilst politicians were handing out sword kills of money for bribery. Tuare Gradual became the spokesman for soldiers stationed in the country north who were frustrated over their government. Tuare was part of the group of army officials that supported the January 2022 Burkina Faso coup d'etat and brought the patriotic movement for safeguard and restoration military junta to power. From March 2022, he served as the head of an artillery regiment in Kenya. Many supporters of the January coup became dissatisfaction with the performances of Paul Henry Damiba, the gentle leader, regarding his inability to contain the jihadist insurgencies. Tuare later claimed that he and other officers had tried to get Damiba to refocus on the rebellion but eventually opted to overthrow him as his ambitions were diverting away from what they set out to do. The dissatisfactions about the situations was highest among younger officials who fought against the rebels at the front line. In addition, there was delay in pay for the Cobra troops. When the protests launched their coup on 30th September, Tuare still held the rank of captain. The operations was carried out with the support of the Cobra unit. In the direct aftermath of the coup, Tuare declared himself the new head of the Patriotic Movement for Safeguard and Restoration. On 6 October, he also assumed the position of interim president as head of state, supreme head of the armed forces. Tuare initially promised to hold democratic elections on July 2024. Hi family, this comes the end of this educational video. If you are new here, remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell and share the videos to family and friends.